Imagine you walk into the store to buy something that you have been hoping to acquire for quite a while. When you arrive, you discover that the price is double what you expected to pay. You end up walking out of the store empty-handed. Have you ever experienced this phenomenon? We trade with one another every day through the buying and selling of goods and services. Those transactions are impacted by supply and demand. In this video, we'll explore the key parameters of supply and demand and how they shape various markets. We'll also take a look at the popular board game Power Grid and how it incorporates these economic principles into its gameplay. Every economy is a complex web of markets where buyers and sellers interact. These interactions are governed by the forces of supply and demand. Let's start with supply. Supply refers to the quantity of a good or service that producers are willing and able to provide at various price levels. On the other hand, demand represents the quantity of a good or service that consumers are willing and able to purchase at different price points. Demand is typically illustrated as a downward sloping curve, indicating that as the price rises, the quantity demanded decreases and vice versa. Conversely, supply is represented as an upward sloping curve, showing that as the price increases, the quantity supplied increases as well. The point at which supply and demand intersect is known as equilibrium. At this price and quantity, the market is stable. There is no surplus or shortage of goods. Numerous factors can shift the demand curve, including changes in consumer preferences, income levels, and the price of related goods. An increase in demand shifts the demand curve to the right, whereas a decrease in demand shifts the entire curve to the left. Supply can also be influenced by factors like production costs, technical advancements, and government regulations. An increase in supply shifts the supply curve to the right, whereas a decrease in supply shifts the entire curve to the left. Price elasticity measures how sensitive the quantity demanded or supplied is to the changes in price. An elastic demand or supply is more responsive to price changes, while an inelastic one is less responsive. The board game Power Grid incorporates supply and demand principles. In this game, players take on the role of power company owners, striving to supply electricity to cities efficiently. The game begins with the power plant auction, where players bid on power plants. The supply of power plants is limited, and their prices can vary, just like in the real market. Connecting cities with power lines also mirrors supply and demand dynamics. The cost of connecting cities increases as more connections are made, reflecting the concept of diminishing returns. The cost of resources such as coal, oil, and uranium fluctuates based on supply and demand. When more players demand a particular resource, its price increases. To succeed in Power Grid, players must balance their supply of power plants, manage their resources efficiently, and adapt to changes in market conditions, just like real-world businesses do. Supply and demand are at the heart of economic theory, influencing prices, production, and consumer choices. Understanding these principles is crucial for anyone interested in economics or even board games like Power Grid. Let's circle back to the scenario we started with. If most people who walked into the store for the same item you went to buy felt the same way that you did, where the item was too expensive and therefore they would just leave instead of buying it, that sends a signal to the seller that the price was too high. There is a surplus of goods sitting on the shelf. The seller needs to lower the price until people start buying the product again. The equilibrium point will be reached when the price decreased enough where buyers bought all of the stock of that item without any leftover buyers desiring any goods. If the price is too low, there will end up being a shortage as more people want to buy the product when all of the inventory has been bought out of the store. In that case, the price will rise to equilibrium. Supply and demand at work in our everyday lives. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of supply and demand. We hope this video has shed light into these fundamental economic concepts. Whether in the real world or within the world of games, the forces of supply and demand play a pivotal role in shaping our decisions and the economy as a whole.